Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a, I guess a haul for TJ Maxx. I actually wasn't going for a little while. I went to three, I think three, uh, TJ Maxx between Jersey and Pennsylvania. And they all had the same stuff and it seemed like they hadn't really updated anything. But I ran in the other day and they had a couple of really good things. Uh, some cute things that maybe I won't use, but I just I just couldn't help it. And I got I got a few things that I thought were adorable and I thought I would share them with you today. So one of the most adorable things I saw, I don't need, because uh, God knows I have brushes. I certainly don't need this kind of brush, but I am a sucker for cutesy things. And I, I have to get this. This is adorable. It is adorable. I paid uh, $2.99 for this. It just says makeup brush. It doesn't have any specific... Uh, you know, it's a fan brush, probably for highlighter. You can use it for highlighter. And I looked this up. It's a Just Shine cosmetic brush. And I think it's from the company Justice. Um, and I'm trying to see. I looked online and eBay, they were selling this brush for $14 on eBay. So maybe it's something that's discontinued and they don't make it. Um, I think those Justice stores are in the mall. They're like little kids stores, I guess. Uh, they also had like a mermaid line, not in TJ Maxx, but online. Um, super cute, adorable. It has like the little uh, unicorn horn handle. I love it. So cute. I had to pick it up. It was adorable. I don't need it, but I picked it up. So another thing, this was kind of like a last uh, minute, just I like, grabbed it as I was leaving because I was like, oh, I'll, I'll get that too. I like that. Um, so Maybelline made the baby lips line and I used to have the crayon one. And I don't remember what color it was. It was like this light pink. It was super cute. I liked the way it looked. It stayed wet. And my dog got to it. And he didn't really eat it, but he kind of licked it. And I had to chuck that. So I just never bought it again because I was just like, ugh, whatever. And then when I did want to buy it, I couldn't find it. But then I saw this. Um, and I've never seen this before. And this is the Baby Lips Balm and Blush. And I'm actually going to open this. Um, I paid $2.99 for this. And I looked it up online. And I couldn't find it here in the U.S. I saw that they have it, um, I believe, in the U.K. and New Zealand. This looks like something they used to have here in the U.S. back in 2016. I don't remember it. Um, maybe you've seen this before. God, this packaging is really difficult to freaking open I'm like shatter a nail to get into this thing um but i did see that they had reviews for this product for 2016 what in the hell Ugh, i can't even tell you what i had to go through to get into that package it was ridiculous but this is what it looks like uh the maybelline uh bomb and blush and like i said i saw reviews for this stuff uh for 2016 here in the states i don't recall ever seeing this if this was in the pharmacy god knows it would have caught my attention because it's a little top. But um, anyway, they're still selling it. And I think that uh, everywhere, it seems like they have it for the same price I paid for it in TJ Maxx. So this wasn't really particularly, oh, this wasn't really particularly um, a deal. But $2.99, that's pretty cheap. So it's a balm and a blush. Look how cute this is. That is adorable. It's like a little thing. I'm not going to put it on now because I have on makeup. Uh, but this is super cute. I can't wait to try that, and I hope I like it. I think this is the only color, uh, Peach Innocence, I think. Uh, where did I throw the package? I think it's called Innocent Peach. That's the color. Now, when you look it up online, I think they had four colors for this, but TJ Maxx only has this one. So that wasn't really, like, a great find. I mean, it was, but it wasn't like, oh, I came here for that. But I, I was happy to get it. It's a cute little piece, and I got that, and I got that, and I got that. Okay. So the next thing that I got that I was actually pretty surprised to see was uh, a Marc Jacobs lineup eyeliner duo. Super cute. I've never purchased anything uh, Marc Jacobs. This is two eyeliners, one in brown and one in kind of like a cobalt blue. Uh, it's this purple peon, I guess. Don't ask me. Earthquake and purple. Oh, that might actually say purple rain. <laughs> I have astigmatism, so when I have on my contacts, I can't see small print. Uh, that's probably purple rain. Yes, purple rain and earthquake. So I want to open these because you could see uh, the colors there on the box. 
I paid for this. Let's see. This was $10.99. So I looked it up just to see if anybody's selling it. Sephora is selling it for $20. This, this small eyeliner thing. They're selling it for $20. Bucks, and um, the Marc Jacobs site actually has it on sale for $12. So um, I got it for $10.99. So a good deal, I think, for the, you know, for the prices that the Sephora, $20. They're, again, not keeping up with the news. So let's see what these look like. They feel very nice. Nice little weight to them for little, little eyeliners. And I just want to see, okay, I like that. Do these twist up? these twist up yes they do oh i like that this is a nice color don't mind that i was like swatching foundations and i kind of got like a stain i i don't know what the hell that is i'm gonna have to scrub that off and let's look at the brown oh these are nice okay so i'm, I'm looking forward to using those um i like that purple rain that is pretty i really do like it kind of looks like a pen mark but I do like that. Ugh, I didn't bring a wipe. I'm going to have to live with it. Um, so I thought that was a good deal. I am suffocating. Don't come for me. So the next thing I got, um, I actually have seen people use these things before. I thought I would never buy this. And I've actually never had this used on my face because I've never had an actual facial. Um, but I bought, this is from Beauty Concept. This is an extractor duo. And it's the tools that you need to wiggle out like whiteheads and blackheads, I guess. Um, I might try it once. I'm, I don't want to do any damage to my face. Um, so I'm careful with stuff like this. But I was interested to see how this works. I've seen videos online. I'm definitely going to do um, a little homework before I use it on my own face. But I paid $3.99 for this. I thought that wasn't a bad deal. I didn't see anything like that online, I don't think. Um, I don't think I could find anything... Uh, I actually had a hard time finding this company because Beauty Concepts is kind of broad and they don't have a website on the box, which they should probably add to their uh, packaging so you could find their company and the things they sell. Um, I am really dying. It is so hot in here and we had like one cool day here and now it's back to the heat and I don't want the fan on because it drones. You could probably hear the damn cricket in the back, but it is what it is. Okay, so now... I found these uh, when I went, and they uh, they had these mattes. That I, what are they called? Liquid matte lipstick. And they also had the lip gloss formula for this company. This is the Lime Crime, Lime Crime Velveteens. So I picked up two because I always wanted to try this formula. I just didn't want to pay $20 for it, and I'll tell you why. I've gotten all that paid 20 sometimes more, for a, a liquid lip. My issue was that I had tried their Wet Cherry. Oh, I'm, I'm dying. I'm dying. Um, I tried the, their Wet Cherry, and I got it in like this, I want to say like a purpley, it's like lip gloss. Whatever. I don't really wear a lot of lip gloss. I have on some today just for a little bit of shine uh, so I don't look so flat on camera. Um, I have on one of the Jeffree Star glosses. I have no idea what the color is. It came in one of the mystery boxes because I wouldn't have bought a Jeffree Star lip gloss. Other things, maybe, but not ever a gloss because I don't care for it. Um, what the hell was I saying? Oh, yes. <laughs> so I got in the Wet Cherry and it smelled really nice, but I just, mm, it was a little thick for me and I was like, uh, okay. Uh, honestly, that's my own fault. I was a sale at Ulta. I think it was during one of their 21 Days of Beauty. And I picked it up, lime, the Lime Prime Wet Cherry in that color. I picked it up at a discounted price. It was still not cheap for a, a small lip gloss. Um, and I was just like, whatever. I, I guess I, don't, I w didn't really read it. I thought it was like a liquid lip. I, I just grabbed it quickly and then I got it home and I was like, probably should have returned it, but whatever so i got two of these in the liquid lips uh the the sat whatever whatever the hell they call velveteens so i got the color sparrow and i got the color vibe so i looked these up to see uh if anybody's still selling these at full price and lime prime is th these right here especially this particular color i didn't i didn't find vibe 
but Ulta is selling Sparrow for 20 bucks, $20. And I picked these up for $5.99. So that's a very big difference. And if you go to the Lime Crime site, they're $20. So if you're interested in trying the Lime Crime formula, get to TJ Maxx and pick these up. There weren't that many, um, but these were the only two colors that I saw, Vibe and Sparrow. And I was actually very interested. I'm going to actually open them because I was actually very interested to try Sparrow because uh, I do like uh, colors that are in the orangey red. So this is what the component looks like. You know, it's cute. It has the frosted glass. Um, I kind of expected that. And let's... Ugh, my swatches are so disgusting. So that is what Vibe looks like. See, it has a nice little shine to it. That's not bad. And it does smell like that wet cherry stuff. It smells the same, same kind of smell. You know, it's not, it's not terrible. And this is Sparrow, same component, frosted glass with, I guess, our roses. I don't know. I heard, I heard this brand could be problematic. I, we'll talk about that another time. Um, and this is Sparrow. I actually do like that a lot. That's a nice color. That's pretty. I like that. So I picked them up. I don't know if I necessarily would have gotten uh, this color vibe had it not been on sale. But it was. So I got it. And it is what it is. So like I said, don't get them from Lime Crime or from Ulta if you can manage to get them at TJ Maxx because it's a, sub a substantial difference in price. So the last thing I picked up from uh, TJ Maxx was something that I've never purchased anything from this brand either. And I think the reason I never picked anything up from this brand is I just kind of felt like, mm, these things look cheap. And, you know, I buy cheap stuff just to test it out. But I just didn't, you know, sometimes I'm like, I don't want to buy a cheap palette. Cheap palettes kind of scare me. But I saw this. This is the I Heart Revolution So Tasty palette. And I fell in love with this. Let me show it to you. It's a hot dog. And I don't even care. I honestly don't even care what the colors are inside this palette because I got it just for this. It has like a soft rubbery feel. The, the hot dog feels soft. Um, like, a, like, a, like an eraser. Like a, an eraser type of... Uh, and it's super, super... The packaging is adorable. It's the I Heart Revolution hot dog and... We're both going to be seeing the inside together for the first time because I didn't see any of these open. And this is what, let me take the plastic out. And this is what she looks like inside. I think that's adorable. I think this is a win. I'm happy with this. I'm looking forward to playing around with this. I mean, a lot of the colors are kind of similar. Uh, but I love that. It's so cute. Let's see the color names. Ketchup. That's so cute. Ketchup. That's adorable. Ketchup. Roller coaster. Worst hot dog sauce. BBQ. Relish. Frank. Bun. Grilled. Banger. Mustard. Footlong. Oh my dog. Sizzling. Tofu dog. Link and fairground. Adorable. I am so happy with the colors. I thought they were going to be awful. Ha <laughs> ha. I got lucky with this and I picked up something else from my mom while I was there. So take away five bucks. I spent $44 on all of that at TJ Maxx. That is a really good deal. I mean, you buy one product at Sephora for $44 if you're lucky. If you're lucky. Um, and, you know, just to close out, I stopped at CVS on the way home after TJ Maxx. And I'm always talking about CVS, how much I love CVS because they have such a great... Um, extra care rewards program. I'm always telling everybody to download the app, um, especially if you like to try drugstore makeup because they often have coupons for Maybelline and Revlon and L'Oreal and Wet n Wild and all of that on top of you earning extra bucks that you can spend at a later uh, store visit and you can use it online. I, I did recently. I spent I, I bought a lot of stuff and I really uh, got it very discounted because of the reward system. Anyway, I digress. I went to CVS to pick up um, eye drops, sustain for um, dry eye, you know, getting older. I have dry eye. So I stopped to get 
sustain and the double pack was $23. I had a $3 CVS coupon off for that particular product. And I also had a series of other coupons. So I went and I picked this up. This is the NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation because I just wanted to try it. I've seen a couple of people on YouTube uh, using this product and I got it in the color uh, medium olive. I, I, I try to grab things when I see the word olive because despite the fact that for many years I thought that I was very, very fair, I'm not. I have a lot of yellow uh, olive undertone and it, it if I don't put the right color in, I look disgusting. I look either really peach, really pale. Um, so I said, let me pick this up. And with my combination of coupons, I got to the register and with the $23 eye drops and this, my whole bill was $21 because I had money off of the coupon, uh, mo I'm sorry, money off of the eye drops and the combination of different coupons that I had saved on my app that it goes to your card. I basically got this for free. I, I did get it for free uh, because I've had the coupon. So I encourage everybody, if you're going to try, especially if you want to try anything that is sold in a pharmacy, definitely get the CVS app. So with that said, uh, I hope you had a good time today. I love sharing the things that I buy at TJ Maxx. I don't think I'm going to go again um, for the month. It's almost over anyway. My neighbor's uh, HVAC has kicked in. And on that note, see you guys later.